Always investigating. Seven News confirming two high school students show up, showed up for school drunk. That's the same day another student may have been driving under the influence, causing a deadly crash. Seven News reporter Lance Hernandez uncovering new details about both incidents involving Adams City High School. And Lance, you're asking if they're connected. And I talked to the head of the school a little bit earlier today. He told me they appear to be two separate incidents that are not connected. He said there were two students who came to school early Friday, apparently under the influence of alcohol. They were taken to a hospital. He said that the 16-year-old driver involved in the horrific fatal crash at this intersection didn't go to school that day. Did you see the accident happen? El carro perdió el control. A construction worker who didn't want to go on camera shared photos of the crash with 7 News. He says he saw a carload of kids swerve out of control and cross into the oncoming lane right in front of a motorcycle. The motorcycle rider um, was struck virtually head on by the side of the vehicle and uh, he was thrown back uh, a good distance from where the initial impact occurred. Commerce City Police Chief Troy Smith says alcohol and speed appear to have been factors in that crash. Today, we learned that the students in the car apparently weren't the only Adams City High School students who may have been drinking that day. Did some students come to school drunk on Friday? Yes, yes, we did have uh, two students come to school under the influence of alcohol Friday morning. The executive director of school turnaround at Adams City High says staff members noticed something wasn't right with the students during first period, so they called an ambulance. How often do students come to school under the influence? You know, it's not a very common occurrence. Tony Smith says this is the first time he's dealt with that issue this year. He says kids test limits and sometimes make bad decisions. Now, authorities have not released the name of the motorcyclist who was killed in that crash, but we've learned he was an employee at Denver Public Schools. We are told he was a facilities manager. People in Commerce City are grieving for him, and they're also pulling together for the students who were injured in that crash, especially the 16-year-old driver who we are told was operating that vehicle with a learner's permit. In Commerce City, Lance Hernandez, 7 News.